Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how you guys can complete Operation Brimstone relatively easy. Now this is a new operation that has just been added with the 1.09 update on Modern Warfare alongside of another operation called Operation Harbinger. I actually completed both of these hot operations, believe it or not first try now the operation harbinger is extremely easy it took me about 20 to 30 minutes to complete it um, maybe even less um, it did not take me that long at all if you guys want me to cover a video on that then i will go ahead and do it but in my opinion it's really really easy and you guys shouldn't really struggle with it um, but if you guys do want me to go ahead and give you guys an easy walkthrough of that uh, video or that operation sorry i will go ahead and give you guys some tips and tricks on that one as well but i thought i would go ahead and do this one first just because i've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying it's extremely hard and I also seen a lot of people on YouTube saying it's really really hard now I don't know if my research is correct but from what I know I was actually the world's first person to actually go ahead and complete this operation so these tips I will be sharing with you should be extremely easy um, now I did this the day after the update actually came out and I did this on my first try once again I'm pretty certain I'm the first person to do this in the world but if I am incorrect then please go ahead and say so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with some, some tips and tricks on what I did on this now unfortunately I don't have the whole entire run through of this um, operation because I was using my Algato but unfortunately for some reason all the footage corrupted so I had to just go ahead and capture the last 15 minutes on my PlayStation instead so I only have the last 15 minutes of this operation unfortunately if you guys would like me to then I will actually go ahead and do this again for you guys and I'll go ahead and show you the entire walkthrough of the operation just so you guys know exactly how to do it the easiest way possible but as I only captured the last 15 minutes, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and help you guys as much as I possibly can still because I still want to help you guys out. I did have a plan of getting all the walkthrough, doing the whole entire walkthrough, and showing you guys exactly how to do it step by step for every single objective. But like I said before, unfortunately, I have only got the last 15 minutes of the operation. But without further ado, I'm very very sorry for the long intro. I'm just going to go ahead and talk about a few little tips that can help you out along the way with completing this operation. Now this is the same as this first tip I'm going to mention is going to be um, relative to every other operation as well. And that is to simply have a squad that is good, have a squad with who all has microphones and have a squad that everyone knows what they're doing, you can coordinate with and all of that kind of stuff. So for example, I was in a squad, every single person was pretty good, they all knew what they were doing, they all had microphones and it was very, very nice. So I do recommend you guys getting some friends, getting some people you may know or whatever or if you guys don't have any, anyone to play with um, then you guys can of course use my comment section as a way to find people uh, to play with so if you guys want to just go ahead and say in the comment section like for example is anyone wanting to do the harbinger operation and I'm sure you guys will be able to find out a bunch of people to play with you so I do recommend you guys getting together and helping each other out now a few little tips I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my class up that I use to actually go ahead and do this I recommend every single player on your team using some kind of LMG now personally the PKM is probably the best LMG in the game at the moment um, but I was actually using the M91 so if it was me I recommend either using the M91 or using the PKM now I also recommend you guys using overkill and sticking a riot shield on because it can be very very helpful in so many different ways and then for the perks you guys can use whatever you guys want to but personally I recommend for the first perk you guys can go ahead obviously overkill before the riot shield and then I recommend you guys for the second perk using um, hardline because if you guys don't know if you actually get kills with hardline on spec ops you guys can actually get awarded a bunch of little upgrades so you guys could get more ammo you guys could get more armor packs you guys could get a sentry gun or any of that kind of stuff so if you guys watch carefully sometimes when you see me kill enemies I will actually go ahead and randomly get a little slot on the right hand side I'll get some more ammo I'll get some more um, armor or something like that for completely free I don't even have to pick it up I don't have to find it so I do recommend every single person sticking on hardline overkill for the right shield sticking on an LMG 
And then for the last perk, you guys can go ahead and use whatever you guys want to, but I found Battle Hardened quite well because sometimes the enemies do actually try and stun you, so I do recommend using Battle Hardened. And that is the class setup I use for you, uh, I use for this, sorry. And then the next thing I also recommend using is I recommend every single person in the lobby having Medic on. Now Medic basically allows you to revive people when you, you don't have to go anywhere near them. You could be the other side of the map and you could revive people and I really recommend everyone doing it. It's very very good in those sticky situations when there's a lot of enemies and you guys can't really revive people. Then this comes in super clutch, especially when you are like the last person alive and all of your free teammates are down. You guys can go ahead and simply press RB and LB and you guys can revive them extremely quickly. So if everyone has this on, then you guys should be able to easily survive everything. Now a main reason I recommend you guys using the riot shields, perfect example was just there. As you guys saw, there was a few enemies shooting at me, but luckily I could revive my teammate because I have a riot shield on my back and that basically stops me from being shot from the enemies whilst I am reviving people so you guys are gonna be able to revive people really really easily with this now another thing I recommend you guys doing is at the beginning before you actually load into the game there's actually an option where you can stick on some kill streaks I recommend one person sticking on a gunship um, maybe sticking on a UAV because this actually allows you to see where every single enemy is so it's really really helpful um, and it lasts like it, it lasts extremely long like it's so good I wish it lasted that long in multiplayer but I recommend you guys sticking on one person sticking on a UAV one person sticking on a gunship for the very very last bit and then one last thing I'd like to go ahead and talk about is what you guys should be coordinating about now I've told you guys to coordinate and obviously you guys should be coordinating but you guys may not know the exact things that you guys should be coordinating about uh, one of the main things is going to be when let's say for example when there is two people down and there are two people alive if those two people alive both have their medic try not to use it at the same time because it's going to be a complete waste you guys are going to want to coordinate and you guys are going to want to decide on which person is going to use that um, because if you guys both use it at the same time then it's going to be a complete waste and it could actually make you guys die because next time the people go down um, you're going to have that one less medic available so it could result in you failing the mission so make sure you guys do coordinate and make sure you guys do not call in your medic at the same time because that could be uh, the result of failing the whole entire mission just from that one little mistake um, another thing I recommend you guys con uh, coordinating about is when there is a juggernaut and where the juggernaut is and when the juggernaut dies because it's very very helpful to know where the juggernaut is and when it is dead because the juggernauts are probably one of the most annoying things in um, this game because there are so many especially on this um, operation there is literally about 20 juggernauts like I'm not even exaggerating there is literally like 20 juggernauts it's absolutely insane how many juggernauts there is um, but I do recommend you guys coordinating where the juggernauts are and also I recommend coordinating like when you are ready to go like for example right now our mission is to go ahead and reach the exfil you guys are going to want to go to each building to each building and when you leave that building you guys are going to want to get ready and then you guys are going to want to go at the same time if one of you go at um, without the others then nine times out of ten you're just going to end up dying and then your teammates are going to have to revive you and just because they have to revive you they could all end up dying so i recommend you guys just sticking together and coordinating like for example right now at this part it's very very important to remember that there is an attack helicopter that comes in we all coordinated three of us went to the back window and three of us uh, destroyed the helicopter in literally about five seconds and we did not have to worry about that and also another thing to coordinate about is when you guys have ammo uh, packages when you guys have armor packages when you have grenade packages and all of that kind of stuff especially ammo packages because you run out of ammo a lot on this game and it can be extremely annoying so i do recommend you guys basically coordinating when and where you are you are going to put the package because it's very very important for everyone to have ammo because if you run out of ammo then you're going to end up dying and you guys the worst thing to possibly happen is to run out of bullets 
Now, like I was saying before, as you guys remember, um, this is the part where I recommend one person having a gunship because uh, they're going to be able to protect everyone because this pit, this bit does get a little bit hectic because you have to hold off for the last minute or so whilst the um, little exfil thingy comes and then you guys can complete the mission. Anyway, that has been it for today's video. I did want to go ahead and do a whole entire walkthrough like I said before, but unfortunately my Algato did freeze and I only was able to capture the last 15 minutes. So if you guys are wanting a whole entire walkthrough, then I will go ahead and do this again for you guys and record the whole entire thing. And then I will go ahead and show you guys it. Make sure to subscribe with those notifications on by the way, because I will be uploading a lot of videos based on the spec ops and all of that kind of stuff to help you guys out because I have been playing it a lot and I do really really enjoy it and I have completed every single one of them so I do really recommend you guys subscribing to the channel with those notifications on but anyway thank you so much for watching that has been it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did please go ahead and drop a sub and a like and I'll see you guys in the next video peace